to the channel. So today I'm going to be running some errands. Um, it is December 30th and I have to get this classroom set up before the 7th or the 5th. One of the two. So we got to get rolling. Um, if you saw my last video, I was pretty much cleaning up the office and just setting everything up. Um, I think I got everything in position and I got, I'm sure my doors are locked. Anyways, I got everything in position and I was, I don't know where this guy went and so I'm kind of freaking out about it. Anyways, there he is. I don't know what he's doing. Um, got everything set up and now I'm distracted. I made a list on the things that I need to grab um, on my cute notebook paper. Um, so I need pens and marker holders. I need bulletin board paper. I need double-sided tape. Um, I might be picking up some storage bins today. I don't know if I'm gonna spend that yet. And then I would like some garland, but not necessary. Um, and then maybe a teacher toolbox. So those are some things that I'm looking for today. It just depends on what I find. I don't know. Um, I really do need the bulletin board paper and um, pen and marker holder um, and that double-sided tape. The rest is just kind of what I find. Maybe I'll find a sale. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much I'll film in the stores. That still makes me kind of nervous. But we're going to run to Hobby Lobby, which is where I'm at now. And then I'll hit Michael's and maybe Target. I'm not 100% sure on Target. It just kind of depends on my time and what I find at these places. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I made it back. Sorry I did not video anything in the stores. It was actually really busy. I'm not sure. I guess maybe people are just off this week and are doing some like clearance sales shopping. I don't know, but it was literally packed in every store I went so I don't know what was up with that um so I did not video anything in there I feel kind of weird about that and yeah I'm not comfortable doing that yet so I am going to show you what I got and where I got it um it's not very much but I don't need a whole lot um I think I spent about a hundred dollars and yeah, I'm still looking for a few things, like I need garland to jury for cross here. I didn't find any of that, and I found nothing to hold, like, my markers and pens. So, I'm still on the lookout for that. I might just order it off Amazon. Um, I found some cute ones at Target, but they were literally the same price as Amazon. So, I was like, mm, maybe I'll just get it on Amazon. So, I might do that. Still debating. So first we'll do Hobby Lobby. Um, I told you guys I was getting a bulletin board paper. So um, I don't have a bulletin board. I'm just going to hang this paper on the wall and then um, tack things to it. We have to repaint this um, room anyway. So I'm not too worried about holes or anything. So I got kind of like the white shiplap um, paper. I really didn't want it because I... When I see it, I automatically think rustic-y, but it's a really good background base, and I think my bulletin boards are going to be super busy, so I don't even think these are going to be really noticeable in the background, but it's a really good base because it has that white, but it has the contrast, so um, I went ahead and got this, and there's actually a lot in there. I got it for $9.99, and then I used the 40% off coupon because it wasn't on sale, so yeah it really wasn't that bad of a price and i mean it's a lot like i'm not gonna use all this at all not even close probably so i got that at hobby lobby um and then they had all their spring stuff out and they have some really cute spring stuff and then they have 40 percent off their spring stuff um i love it when they put out their spring stuff i never really buy anything there but i just love looking at it because it's so bright and colorful and so fun so, um, my theme is going to be the Boho Rainbow, um, if you have 
noticed already. I'm so excited. So this is actually just a placemat. I mean, it's, yeah, flimsy, but I'm gonna put it on my desk and use it kind of as like a mouse pad um, and things like that. Kind of like, I don't know, a desk pad, but it's a placemat. Um, so I'm so excited. Aren't those colors just freaking gorgeous? I love it. So I thought that was a great idea. Um, what else? Oh. They had, so they had a whole bunch of storage things on their spring sale. So all of their storage bins were uh 40 percent off which is a really good price um i got these little baskets i got four it's kind of my color scheme i'm going for um they had a really pretty green but they didn't have it in these little ones um so i was kind of bummed about that but i do like these colors um and i can put a lot of things in here i just don't think they're tall enough for my pencils and pens but i might give it a try um, and I think they'll be short enough to fit into my filing cabinets. If not, I might put them on a shelf like this and just put like paper clips, um, literally anything. So, um, I got these for, I don't know, less than a dollar. So that was a good price. was also on their spring line and it's just like a super cool modern simple clock and it's like a perfect size $14 um so I was super excited about that I can't believe I got that for $14 um I figured if we didn't use it in the office we could use it in the bedroom um or I guess I could use it here for now and then it can be moved literally anywhere that we need a clock because it's just basic plain modern love it $14 and I was like uh yes getting that I think the cheapest clocks I've found were on Amazon and um they don't have very much they don't have very good variety so I think that's all I got at Hobby Lobby. So next we're gonna go to Michael's. I went, stopped at Michael's. Michael's I was looking for um, the storage and then I was looking for my marker and pencil holder. Um, they really didn't have much there. Everything was pretty bare. It literally looked like they like cleaned out the whole store after Christmas. That's what it looked like. Um, so I didn't find much there, but I got what I went there for, um, I went there, I guess I should move this. So I got this big uh, storage cart, foldable side thing. Can you guys see it? So, um, I've been wanting this for my Cricut anyways. Um, so... I just went for it because I need something in the background. Um, I need to store paper. I need to store a lot of things. Um, so I can use this for student teaching now and then I will use it for my Cricut afterwards because uh, if you guys watched my first video, I had to move all my Cricut stuff out of my other drawers and put them in an old dresser. So that's not gonna work forever. Um, and I plan on taking those other drawers to my classroom when I get a classroom. Um, so I needed something for my Cricut anyway. So this is going to help me during student teaching now. And then when I'm done to student teaching, I'll keep this at home and it'll be for my Cricut. Okay, next. Let's see. Oh, I also got at Michael's this paper. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for letters um, for my bulletin boards and I found this gold cardstock. Um, it wasn't on sale but I used my 20% coupon on it. I think it was like $5 and then the 20% off so that would have been 
less than five dollars you get 50 sheets and then I will just use a cutout um, on my Cricut and I'll do my letters for my bulletin board. I figured that was a lot easier than purchasing um, like push out or pop out letters um, for the bulletin board. Those can get expensive and they're really hard to reuse because you have holes in them and they rip when you go take them off. So I thought about just making my own and um, I could do, literally use this gold cardstock for anything. So um, I thought that was a pretty good buy. Next, I went to Target to hopefully find that, um, well, I wanted some desk decor and I wanted something to hold my pencils and pens. Um, I did not find anything. I, they had two gold ones and I thought about getting that. They were $6.99 each. I just didn't think they were worth it. So I didn't get that. I found a cute little desk plant. Isn't it cute? It needs some TLC, but I think it's pretty cute for $3. I also want to show you kind of the inspo that I just drew up really quick this morning before I went. So um, I want that up top in the blue to be my alphabet circles the clock and then the whiteboard and then two side um fake bulletin boards um and i think that will call it good okay guys i want to share with you all the fun things that i found for free on teachers pay teachers this is a pretty popular theme right now i feel so i feel like there's a lot of free resources um so this is just a welcome banner i mean how cute it even has like the um cutouts and it just says welcome and I think I'm going to um cut this out print it out cut it out and put it on the front of my desk um I think that would look cute with some pom-pom like garland that is my idea for that and that just says welcome I have so many so these are like for the teacher tool bin um, I'm liking these colors, um, they're kind of modern, and it has all the little printout and cutout, and then you just paste it on your toolbox, and you feel organized, like your life depends on it. These I found, I'm so stoked for them, these are bulletin board, um, borders, look how freaking cute so i'm going to print i don't know which ones yet i'm going to print them out and use those as my bulletin borders bulletin board borders um and i'm super excited about that i think it'll look really freaking cute super excited i just don't know how much um ink it's gonna be but you know it's fine it's better than like buying it and I don't know. So these are just like decor um, things that I want to hang. All are welcome here. And they just have two different, uh, three different types. Super cute. This is um, part of a calendar just the months that was free super cute colors love that and then these are um the alphabet which i go back and forth on if i want to hang the alphabet i don't want them this size so if i can shrink them somehow um i will do it if i can like put two on each page then I will, but I can't have a full page. That's too much, it's too big. And then these cute stickers, um, I can literally just print and cut out on my Cricut and that'll be so easy. They're so cute. And then my calendar that I want does cost money. Um, I think it's like $4, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Um, unless I can make it myself. 
I'm debating whether to do that or not. Um, but I do like it because it has um, the digital date here, um, days in school, hundreds, ten ones, tomorrow will be, today is, yesterday was, and then just has the rainbows and it's so cute. I love it. Um, so I think I'm going to purchase it just to save time. Only $4. I really haven't put that much money because I literally got everything else for free. Um, so yeah, those are the ones that I got for free.